situation right now with uh, Muda is very obvious. Uh, the current government is refusing to register us as a political party despite our many, many attempts to try to accommodate to their, the amendments that they have requested. We have also taken them to court and so on and so forth. The reality is that we will need a party uh, going into elections. Have we, uh, do we have a, a firm agreement with anyone on this yet? No, we do not. Uh, we have spoken to Warisan and we've actively meeting with uh, other leaders. I think last week we met uh, Sabu Guan Eng. Uh, hopefully this week we would be meeting with uh, Datuk Sri Anwar, uh, with uh, Pejuang as well and so on. If we are talking about two, three years down the road, then there's absolutely no rush. But if it is really going to be this year and if it is announced, then we're going to have to go out there and say, hello, who will have us? Uh, we would love to work with you. We want to run. When we get closer to election, we will need to work with somebody. We need a flag. Um, so whomever of the, any of the opposition parties that's willing to work with us, that's great. No, we're not negotiating to be a part of any coalition. We just want to work together with anybody. Are we going to all be one big fat coalition or are we just going to use the flag that really uh, will be decided closer to election? What we want to do is be united with the opposition. We really firmly believe in a united opposition front and uh, that's what we are working on. Just, of course, election is the goal, but it's also because we want to be united. We want opposition to be united and talking to each other because that's the only way we can stand a chance in this election. If we are fragmented or we are not working together, we will not. Our red line is that we do not want to work with anyone aff uh, affiliated with Kasta Makama. That is all. And at least at this point in time, opposition is not working with any of uh, the Cluster Makama thing, so that is good for us, so we are happy to work with anyone in the opposition, no issues on our side. Okay, one of the, the, the biggest one that they said was that um, in the, our objectives, we had said that we want to champion uh, issues that matter to the youth aged uh, 15 and above or something like that. But in our keahlian, in the membership, we had stated that um, you need to be 18 and above to be a member. So they said, oh, why, why um, are you ch saying that 18 and above for membership, but then your, what you want to champion is 15 and above? But it's actually two separate things because, for example, if the association wants to champion animal rights, it doesn't mean you need to be an animal. It, it's two complete different things. So those, those kind of petty little details. And then they said, that like, oh, you want to be a youth party, but you didn't limit the age which is not our intention either. We want to be youth-led, but our party membership is open to anyone above the age of 18. You can be 70 and apply. So it's just those kind of uh, little petty things, which we changed. We said, fine, you, you still want to argue this? Okay, we changed our objectives to say, oh, we will um, fight for youths aged 18 and above. Uh, so the latest feedback for the D-Day is that uh, we have not cleared the Tapisan Keselamatan, the, the, the co-founders. Uh, the panages of the party, we have not cleared the security thing yet. Not that there's an issue, it is still being done. Did so they give you a timeline as to when you Of course not. <laughs> of yeah. course not. So that's what we have been waiting on. Um, last week, uh, we sent them a, a letter saying that like, uh, if we do not hear a response uh, soon from them, we will need to go back to court. Mm -hmm.